Hello everyone, this is Jaime Rivera with Pocketnow.com and we're demoing the Intel smartphone concept right now with the Intel Atom C2460 chip. So we're going to let Paul talk right now with the benefits of this uh, smartphone prototype. 1080p video, playback and 1080p uh, recording. Uh, this phone also has all the uh, usual things you'd expect. It has an HDMI port under here. And that's allowing me to uh, render this on the, the screen. It has uh, near-field communication, wireless, and Bluetooth. Now, this is a very powerful phone, but one of the things the Intel chip is very good at is power efficiency. So these are the numbers uh, that we get in our benchmark. Standby time of 14 hours, 3G talk time of 8 hours, and we can, uh, we can play back 1080p video for 6 hours. So pretty impressive. Let me dive into some demos, and I'll show you what this phone is really, really good at. First of all, if we go to the browser, now... You'll notice this is an Android browser running. Wi -Fi. No, we're not. So we'll see. Okay, so let me just switch phones. So if you look at this, and um, we open up. Okay, we're connected to Wi-Fi on here. So if we open up the BBC website, what you'll see is that the pages render very, very quickly. Now in here, there's lots of interference. But if I go to a link like, uh, let's see, this, once the page loads, and you see it's very, very, very quick. Very, very responsive. Java has been optimized for the Intel chip on this device. So I want to show you how Java plays, because it performs really great. This is uh, Dragonfly. And this is a, a Java game that you can get from the Android market for free. I downloaded this this morning. And uh, what I'll do is I'll play this for you. And once we get into it, what I want you to see is how smooth this plays. So, as we start, this is Java. And as you can see, it runs very, very well. But what if we want to do 3D, 3D graphics and 3D gaming? Well, this also does this very, very well. Now, the game I'm going to show you is a uh, first-person shooter. And it moves lots and lots of polygons around the screen. So this is going to be very intensive on the processor. It's 3D. It's a game called Modern Combat. And once we get into it, I want you to watch the frame rate, see how fast it is. Very, very responsive. So here we go. Snap out of it, oh my god, good. Now get on your feet. I can't carry you. Now as you'll see, when I play this game, it's very smooth and it's very fluid. It doesn't slow down. Come on, over here. And I'll try and uh, take you through some of this. But look at the environment, the graphics are kind of cool. Let's see if we can get you a gun. So this gives you an example of the, the, the kind of graphics that this can generate. Now what this also does very, very well, I'll show you this, I'm coming up to that. So the camera on this can take 15 pictures per second. 15, wow. 8 megapixel pictures per second. So can I borrow you, sir? Do you mind? Perfect. If you just stand here, I'm going to take a picture of you. Yeah, excellent. I need, perfect. You've done this before. Okay. What this is doing is taking many, many pictures. And it will come up on the screen. Wow. And as you can see, these are all 8 megapixel shots. So I can choose my favorite, which is this one. Now, the, the picture quality is a little bit grainy because of the lighting, but this is an 8 megapixel shot. So it takes very, very good pictures. What this also does very, very well is it takes great videos. So if I show you this video, this is 1080p video. But the quality is excellent. It is. But what I can do is I can go to the timeline and I can skip immediately. Immediately. Very fast. It doesn't hesitate. It's immediate. And if you feel 
cabin is cold. It's not warm. It's so very, very powerful, very good at processing images. There's a company that we work with called Immersive Media. They produce 360 degree videos. This is uh, Will I Am. And I can look around, I can look up, and I can look down, and I can look around the crowd. What this allows me to do is have a completely immersive experience. So I can zoom in on where I am and watch what he's doing, I can zoom out. Take a look at the crowd, I can look up. 360 degrees. And it's also very, very, very robust. So if I want to jump, it's no problem. If I want to do this, wow, no lag. No very, very, very fast.